Hello everybody and welcome to MM Design. My name is Maria and today we're going to be talking about the fashion trends for fall winter 2021-2022. Let's get into it. Just so you guys know, I have a bunch of videos dedicated specifically to accessories, shoes and bags, uh, color trends, pattern trends that are going to be listed in the description box below. But today, today we're talking about the actual trends. It's going to be a crazy long video, you guys. Crazy long. So prepare yourself. Maybe go get yourself a drink or maybe a little pee break during the time wouldn't hurt. Okay. Most anticipated. Most. Yes. Yes. Let's just, yeah, let's just dive in and talk about these trends that I've seen on the runways. Well, let's just start with outerwear, probably. I don't know, it's fall winter. We might as well find out what we need. And the first one is uh, ponchos or capes or yes. Okay, so this trend was trying, like it's, it's trying to claw its way in into the fashion. It's not as popular. I've been trying to promote it. <laughs> I love capes. They're so fun to wear and they're so easy. You just kind of like put it on top and you're done. And it can be a statement too. So we see lots of like rain capes too and just just like just capes in general. I really like capes. I think they're really cool. And yes. I know that previously there was a lot of like cape dresses and cape that and this, but this is actually like outerwear capes that you put on top of your wardrobe. Amazing ones from Miu Miu, from Valentino, from Burberry. Yes, very elegant, very classy. So the next one is of course the puffer coat. Like what can we do? Puffers, really nice, really warm. Um, we see them in variety of lengths. There's like some super crazy long ones from like from Rick Owens. Uh, there is some really voluminous uh, like from Roberto Cavalli. They, they just like, a, yeah. And there is a, some very like on, like Dol Dolce Gabbana had some really puffy ones and some that didn't really like they had an interesting outlay that more it looked more like a sleeping bag rather than a puffer but it's a, I, I guess it's still warm lots of oversized uh, puffers in a louis vuitton and so many more shows so yes puffers are a big thing surprise surprise <laughs> And these puffers can be either just like one color, uh, black or maybe a statement color. Dolce Gabbana had really kind of reflective materials also and like even like spray painted things. Uh, so yes. Let's move on to leather. So once again, we see leather. It's not going away anytime soon. In my opinion, I think leather will be known as like the 2020 trend. Like it's, it's a very developed trend and it's gonna stay for how long? I don't know. But what that means is that in like 20 years, people will be looking back at 2020 and be like, oh my gosh, they were leather <laughs> or fake leather. I don't know. They'll have something to talk about, about our generation and how horrible we dress. Just like we think back to some other decades. Um, anyways, so leather, leather in dresses, leather in coats, in pants, in anything. We have some matte leather and some patent leather, some even like leather patchwork situations happening uh, in Chloe and in some other shows. We see leather in different colors and yes, pretty much anything is a go right now for leather so you can wear it head to toe you can wear it just as an accent maybe just a coat or maybe just a skirt anything anything all right so the next trend is the strong shoulder it's not going out anytime soon once again this is going to be one of those statement statement things that people will think back to the 2020s and they'll have the strong shoulders just like we're thinking back to the 80s and like strong shoulders whether it's an oversized suit or maybe it's just a blouse with puffy sleeves that are generally more volume at the shoulders maybe they're more pointy shoulders like coming from a uh, color or 
maybe they're just pointy. This is amazing trend for thrifters, you guys. I love thrifting and I actually started all of this because I was doing the research to go out and thrift for items that are going to be popular like next year and start wearing them really early just because like where I live the trends are like almost two years late and you can't find them in stores which is great because i would rather buy something more of quality in a thrift store especially when you like do all the research ahead of time so you kind of beat the curve and uh, nobody else bought that item yet <laughs> and i love it so this trend is amazing for I would say anybody just because if for instance if you are a inverted triangle and um, you're wearing this oversized blazer nobody's thinking that you have really broad shoulders everybody's thing assumes that you know it's a really wide fit blazer on you and yeah which is actually the next trend oversized blazer let's just talk about that so it's great because you're slender on the inside right you can have some high-waisted wider pants on the on the bottom so it can get your hips wider right and then the shoulders are just there basically yeah create volume using pants even though you have the shoulders any other type of body also though nice with the oversized blazer trend okay so the next one i already mentioned puffy shoulders puffy sleeves this we see this trend again and again and again this is maybe third third or fourth even season that we see it coming back this is i in my opinion is becoming more of a classic trend so if you are thinking of investing something like into a much more expensive piece this one is a safe bet uh to do because like it's it's just so elegant it might be more like a feminine kind of look so maybe not for everybody it depends how you style it for inverted triangles if you style it with very very like kind of loose or very voluminous bottom it will still have give you that an hourglass look uh, but if you're thinking of styling with really slim bottoms then it will exaggerate that maybe you are actually thinking about doing that and instead of fighting against your shape working with it and creating some really like striking contrast but for every other body type this is great especially for the pair because now you need to create the the you know the volume at the top especially those cropped jackets maybe i'm gonna talk about them later okay so the next trend is rounded silhouette especially in the coats so we see like the volume in the sleeves becomes and makes you more rounded so the shoulders aren't as strong but sometimes they are but the volume kind of like is located in the what are these elbow area so it creates the circular uh, effect we see some of this effect in the dresses uh as, okay the louis vuitton has some major vibes of that circle julia johnson has lots of dresses with very puffy sleeves that resemble a circle tom ford dolce gabbana with those puffer jackets they do look like a circle and i've seen this a lot i'm not sure if this is my favorite trend i don't know especially for the jackets i don't think it's a very nice kind of appearance we also see the circular thing going towards the bottom in some of the dresses i'm thinking of like a body shape that this would work on well uh, <laughs> if okay yes depending i guess so if it is very fitted here and it's just the sleeves then hourglass uh, is perfect if it has enough enough volume and the shoulders it would be very good for the pear-shaped body or inverted triangle i guess if you could create volume at the bottom that it might work we see a bomber lots of bomber jackets having that shape just because of like they're they usually already look like that like a little circle because the sleeves are a little wider yes lots of lots of bomber jackets boss etro maxmara prada Prada's uh, pra Prada's jackets are very very oversized, and we have some um, Dior also. So the next trend is the furry trend, and it, I guess it depends what region you live in. If it's a drier region, I think this is a great one. Uh, 
it can be a dry region when it's really cold too, right? So like as long as there's no rain, as long as there's like no wetness, I think this trend is amazing. And maybe if the fur is, is well, I guess it might be faux fur, right? And if it's like smaller, not as thick, not as long, then it's okay for a wetter climate too. So yes, we have lots of texture on the runways. It's great for adding that. It's really warm too. So if you do live in a very cold climate, that's very, very great. We see it on runways. And if you're interested in all like the accessories, we see lots of furry accessories too, lots of furry bags or furry shoes. So that's again, depending how wet is your climate, because can you imagine getting in a, like a rainstorm in that furriness where it just like soaks everything in and you look, kind of look like a wet dog? Not a greatest look, but I guess you could make it a statement. <laughs> So of course we see this in Givenchy, in Fendi, in Dolce Gabbana, in, in so many, so many shows. And it's either like a classic kind of colors or maybe some outrageous uh, over the top colors of you know, fake furs, lots of shearling happening also. So yes, very textured outerwear. Prada had some interesting like little I don't know what are those like little shawls with one side being like a knit and on the other side being a fur uh, lots of like lots of that oh chanel i don't know this reminds me like of a dog like those jackets i don't know okay and here we go dolce gabbana really bright color blocking of furs very statement coats like I believe they're not for real just because they don't look not real and here we go dior also having more of like a smaller look like that shearling so as i mentioned the furness we can also have little accent of that fur on our jackets maybe a little color maybe on the inside of the jacket we have that those stitches going on with little fur picking through a little fur moments on the cap so basically yes fur i don't even know why i made a separate little section for shearling just because there's i guess a lot of it there i really like the yulia johnson this little vest thing it is so cute, like, oh my gosh, it's just giving me these vibes of, you know, ethnic vibes. Oh, so good, so good, okay. Okay, so another uh, kind of trend that I've seen a lot of is a clear plastic kind of outerwear. So we see this in Dior, lots of like raincoats like that with their logo print thing. We even see it in Salvatore Ferragamo having those like a skirt a clear plastic skirt or clear plastic pants. I'm not sure the wearability of that maybe on top of something else. Dolce Gabbana had a lot of those clear plastic moments. Um, I think this is really cool addition to your outfit for like the rainy weather. Um, Balma also had lots of those plasticky feels. There's lots of uh, patent leather that resembled the plastic also, but yes, back to my point very great for the rainy weather just as an outer coat maybe like on underneath you have a really cool outfit that you want to show off why not have that clear plastic on top just to protect it from the outside world where you can just take it off where you know you went to where would you go in it i don't know grocery store <laughs> but yes we see a lot of that on the runways pattern leather i always say pleated leather like, <laughs> I guess it, it it is a thing, but a panel leather, very shiny, kind of a very plasticky feel. I sometimes like the leggings like that. I find them so sexy. I have a pair and I, I kind of wearing them to like bits right now at the moment. <laughs> so uh, going on from that plasticky feel, we have lots of metallics, metallics like on shoes, metallics on coats, pants, skirts you name it balma who else did it pretty sure dolce cabana julia johnson valentino tom ford so very 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 reflective and metallic kind of things they're fun make sure if you are kind of worried about your body type to put it not 
in your problem zone. So if you're trying to minimize your shoulders, get a metallic pant or a metallic skirt. If you are worried about your hips, get a metallic top to kind of balance that out. So the eye goes towards something that you want highlighted or if you like your butt, put it on your butt, basically what I'm saying. <laughs> we also have some of those accessories in a metallic scheme. It's it's fun, I think, and it's it's durable. Anyways, let's move on to, yes, the Y2K moments. Right now I'm feeling like a little person standing on a beach and I know that there's a tsunami coming and I'm just looking at it and it's just it's going it's going and I'm not I'm not running away from it I'm just standing there and watching it come to me and it's really scary so that trend <laughs> is coming you guys the low rise the like awful makeup awful hair like even when I was in that stage like back in 2000s I didn't like the trends at all like I was like oh my gosh what are they wearing like oh my gosh maybe it's like a kind of a young thing can like more grown up mature people get away with it depends I guess on your character and what how you want the world to pursue you you do you basically you do you but I'm very terrified of this trend and this is the main the main goal is don't follow trends blindly think about the trends that will work with you with your uh, character with your body shape with your style and just stick with them like i have a friend yulia hello hello yulia <laughs> if you're watching this and she is looking for that perfect mom jean although she's more of an apple shape and this, this is not the most flattering pant for her. That's why she can't find the one, right? Because for her, skinny jeans are the best friend. And right now, people are going away from the skinny jeans. And now she's stressing out that, oh no, I want to be trendy. I want to do this and that. Just go find the trend that works for you. Wear it with those skinny jeans and you're going to be trendy. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. You know, don't fo don't follow those blindly. Anyways, I'm off on a tangent right now. I need to get back to the video. Okay, so we see a lot of those lower rise pants with like a little belt on the wayside. Like if you have a very nice stomach, yes, you can get away with it. Um, if you have very, very strong self-esteem, you can get away with it. <laughs> I'm not that comfortable right now with my stomach or ever was I. Maybe before kids I was, but right now, no. Although my stretch marks are going away. Anyways, so that's another topic. Okay, we see lots of like cutouts in, you know, the stomach area. Basically, if you're thinking back to like what Britney Spears would wear, like that's, yes, that's perfect. Or a Paris Hilton, you know, that's the vibe you are going for. If you're enjoying this content so far, please consider to like this video and maybe potentially subscribe to this channel as this will help my channel grow so much you have no idea thanks okie doc next swapped jackets here we go yeah i yes i knew they were coming okay so so cropped jackets i love this i love this like for anybody who wants to get the, you know that waistline effect even though if you don't have a waistline just having like maybe a skirt that goes from your waistline down maybe like an a-line skirt and a blazer that's cropped is just kind of gives you this waist just because everything is a little bigger right so it kind of just makes your waistline a little smaller i really like it with the crop tops, amazing. I actually had that jacket oh, and I threw it away. Oh my gosh, not that particular, but very, very similar from the 2000s, you guys. Oh my goodness, yes, 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 we're living it, especially for anything with high rise. Uh, right here, Chanel is having high rise pants and a little belt on there just to highlight that area. It is very elegant and 
very beautiful. I love it. And you can thrift it and remake it, you guys. This is, yes. Okay. So we see a few of like resizable things, not crazy amount. Um, Chloe A had these really long coats that you can just unzip the bottom of it and it would be like a medium size coat. Dolce Gabbana had a lot of those like with the zippers where you can make a blazer, like shorter sleeves or just create some kind of holes, like cutouts. And the coats also had detachable aspects, the sleeves and the bottom uh, section of a coat. I'm pretty sure you can find that at a thrift store, like 100%. <laughs> um, bell bottoms. So, 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 so. Bell bottoms, very tight at the top and having very wide bottoms, but not, not super wide. It's still kind of a skinny bell bottom. Let's just call it that. Sport Max had this trend, you can see it. Um, Salvatore Ferragamo, so once again, having like maybe a little slit on that bottom section, so it kind of flares out more, especially when you walk. You can also have just a wider pant with that slit that creates that volume effect at the bottom of your pant. Stella McCartney had some crazy dramatic ones like that. It looks more like a mermaid effect, like really dramatic difference from the top to the bottom. And a Kiki also very dramatic. Um, Blue Marine with those 2IK moments with very, very wide bell bottoms at the bottom. Bell bottoms at the bottom. Okay, Versace also had like tighter at the top and wider at the bottom. This trend, mm, I think the only the only one like body type that this might not work for would be the inverted triangle just because the hips are so like tight uh, but yeah the other ones are pretty good unless like, you have a wider fit pant and then you just have dramatic bell bottom effect at the bottom maybe yeah inverted triangle that way will be good wide leg pant yes Yes, I like, I like, I like. Why leg pants? Uh, some people are afraid of wearing them just because they might make your leg appear smaller. The only way it is possible is by its cut. So the longer it is, the longer it will make you seem. If it cuts at an awkward height, that might, you know, make you look a little bit boxier and shorter, but I really like this trend for any body type, maybe apple, apple body shape, not so much just because legs are like the best part of their bodies and arms. So by hiding them, you might look bigger. So maybe just not the apple shapes. So we have really, really wide legs and so many shows they are so breathtaking and I love it because it's not a skirt. It is much comfier. People with chafing problems, such as myself, will understand that this is uh, the best alternative to a skirt just because it's flowy, it's awesome, and it, the thighs don't rub together. Next trend is uh, the fringe. We see this coming back. And uh, this time it's not as dramatic like in the previous, I think it was Prada who had this beautiful long fringe and I was just imagining it getting stuck in everything. So we do have some long versions of it in Etro show for these like cowboy moments like are amazing. I'm like in love with it. Uh, we also see more like a smaller fringe on like little bags or maybe on like the sleeves. I, I have a fringe uh, shirt and whenever I wear it, while I'm driving, I'm I'm a distracted driver because all like the whole drive I was I'm going like this and looking at. So, anyways, we see this little fringe detail on dresses. We see them on like little, yeah, lots of that. Salvatore Ferragamo has some more of a messy fringe going on. We see little fringes of feathers. We see little like beads. We see like a skirt full of fringe. And I, I, I really like fringe, if that's not obvious. So I'm a big fan. As long as you're thinking back to your lifestyle and how long your fringe can be, I guess we'll determine that. I'm afraid of getting caught in things, so I might go for the shorter fringe. <laughs> Fendi had their furs, of course. Fendi furs is kind of their staple. That's how they came up. And I know there's lots of gonna be people against it. Like I can't I can't say them not to do it, right? And 
it's part of their history that doesn't really give them the right to use it and i can't really say that i would never buy a fur thing because i probably would if i had enough money just because like i'm russian and it's, it's still it's part of the history right i don't feel that it is necessary so anyways i don't want to get into this it's a too long of a topic to get into this video particularly because i'm pretty sure it's going to be like an hour long video moving on so they had this fur fringe at the bottom of their like coats of their i don't know is that a, like a scarf first scarf so beautiful yes and i don't think they're the only ones I, I saw it somewhere else too but oh my goodness very very beautiful some beaded work from chanel okay next one i think we're uh going into second skin or skin tight or yes so very very tight um, maybe like an under layer or maybe just the whole dress is skin tight like lots of really tight turtlenecks or dresses yeah so Tom Ford had like a full thing it looks like a stocking outfit we see like tights underneath of things or leggings and we see like them being with cutouts Dolce Gabbana had some nice ones like that so for me how I would wear it as an under layer which is great you know for layering but if you are kind of scared because you don't think that your body shape is the best for it layering it it would be great a way of introducing that into your style maybe just under a dress of some sort that you would already wear or maybe like just underneath a blazer yeah okay so moving on to the next one next one is a turtleneck so not only in those skin tight items we see the turtleneck turtlenecks are super super duper popular at the moment we see them in sweaters we see them in dresses we see them sometimes even in coats but yes turtlenecks it's like a scarf and a thing in one which is amazing we love a nice turtle neck turtlenecks can be great for any body any body shape if you do have a kind of a smaller or thicker neck maybe not go for that just because it will make you look boxier if you do have that kind of if you're worried about it get something with a cleavage thing just because it will make this section look longer we have reached cutouts so we've seen some of these cutouts before uh, and they're continuing on for this season also and we see them in sweaters we see them in dresses we see them in coats christian serrano had those cutouts in a coat on the side i don't know if that's the way i would wear it lots of 2yk moments had those cutouts like either on a hip of a skirt or maybe like somewhere else there are some more subtle cutouts like just little slits valentino had a lot of like that slit work that would make a pattern and i i quite like it and it is something that you actually can try out yourself from maybe repurpose your old things maybe not from sweaters just because you know they kind of pull out and they will be destroyed but you can i guess you could try something <laughs> we have some amazing dresses from raisa vanessa oh my goodness those are sexy we ha we have a lot of cutouts in like this area which actually depending on how wide it is it might help you like with the hourglass you know effect um if you are more of a rectangle shape then it kind of visually gives you that waistline and it, it, yeah it's, it's pretty good for for most body shapes if you are shorter think about having these cutouts to be asymmetric or maybe like going on a diagonal or just as long as they're not like cutting you off anywhere it's yeah it's, it should be good okay so continuing from a previous season or two vests are still on the runways um i am okay with vests it just depends i guess on your body shape where you want that attention so for instance if you have very broad shoulders i don't know whether you should have a vest you know like anyways okay i don't really have a lot to say about vests so i'm just gonna move on okay knit of course it's there 
we see some crochet knits dresses we see some more like thicker like sets of knits more of a thicker knit Miu Miu had crochet like everything happening there some potential for diys some beautiful dresses from yulia johnson like oh my goodness that that work is breathtaking those knits are amazing tro and some other have more like a geometric kind of more of a sweater love it of course it's fall winter what else can we ask for yes we need it we have some more funky um dresses like more more like a clear see-through ones and once again these dresses can have cutouts just as i previously mentioned and um, yeah these are very fun layered differently hot pants what are those you might ask super super duper short shorts like just like almost underwear kind of thing so mm, knitted ones even etro hello um tom ford had just like mm, okay dolce gabbana okay high rise version of them maybe just like that not enough coverage <laughs> honestly not enough coverage i think this can open a door of like teenagers wearing underwear out <laughs> maybe with like tights underneath or layered with something maybe i'm just thinking of this like from being high fashion to becoming like a horrible mistake <laughs> Next trend, sparkle. We have lots of sparkle. We talked about the metallic sheens and yeah, we have lots of rhinestones. So basically two YK moments, rhinestones, very shiny materials, a whole outfit out of them, or maybe it's just a few crystals here and there or rhinestones. I have lots of examples, but not a lot to talk about it. It's here, it's, it's back every season. It's, I don't know, is it special? I don't know. So basically, if you have uh, um, like a an item of clothing that is the cut is in right now and it's covered in shiny stuff, you can wear it. <laughs> Moschino, Balma, Dolce Gabbana, Dior. Oh uh, yeah, a lot of it. Oh. Mm. Risa Vanessa, very sparkly sequins here go sequins covered anything no prada still has some oh yeah prada had interesting ones um like the, the cape with like fur lining or just a full outerwear covered in that but you know prada loves being creative with those sparkly autumns chanel also had um a few sparkly moments <laughs> dolce gabbana went all out with like Swarovski crystals. Okay, so the next trend, I think everybody is aware of her now, corsets. We see corsets everywhere, especially on social media, uh, like corsets. I really like this um, trend. I would love to have a corset. They're quite expensive if you're looking for like a well-made one. Uh, if you're looking for not so well-made one, it's not gonna last you a very long time and it might actually not be as pleasant looking as you might imagine it to be. But not always we're talking about the top. We're, we even have corset skirts having that lace-up effect on the skirt or the dress having that lace or like those little hooks there too Dolce Gabbana even had some on their pants I am very much loving this trend okay very sexy very sexy corsets a, a great a great way of getting a nicely built corset maybe is to go to a thrift store get one of those dresses like a prom dress with a built-in corset and just cut off the skirt you've got yourself maybe a corset mm -hmm. maybe maybe not <laughs> oh i have a wedding dress should i do that with that that's an idea oh my god I'm scared now. 
what I'm gonna do with my dress. All right, you guys, and the next one is sheer. Just like we had the, you know, the plastic clearness thing, we see a lot of sheer items on the runways, skirts, dresses, pants, you name it. Yes, it's beautiful. Yes, it's see-through. It's a statement. It can be great for layering, but where are you gonna wear it to now? <laughs> I, I like it just as a fashion thing, as a practical item. I don't know. Oh, I actually love this Elisabetta Frenchy outfit of like this nice white button up shirt with see through long skirts to the ground. I think it's very nice, very like classy, but edgy at the same time. Valentino had some amazing see through dresses. Christian Siriano had, once again, some beautiful gowns. Oh, Louis Vuitton had a few skirts. Sa Simon Rocha had some, um, like an, more of an outerwear or like skirts that are of that kind of a mesh material. Versace had some beautiful black gowns uh, with puffy sleeves and just like very flow and very beautiful. So 70s trends, I see them more on, not the runways, but actually like in real, not, not in real life. Influencers, I see a lots of influencers going for that 70s style, especially like thrifting influencers. Uh, we have a huge movement of people kind of concerned about environment, thrifting items, making wardrobe capsules and actually reselling them. So if you're interested in that, let me know. I might show you who I follow, who does this. This is a really fun era with like, very colorful items. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So you guys, this completes the video. I hope you guys are still with me. I hope it lets you know what to look out for when you're thrift shopping or when you're just shopping. I'm excited. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to wear this out and not just in our house. Please consider to like this video and subscribe to this channel as I do this videos kind of every every year I do two capsules of this so for spring summer and for fall winter and I break all the trends up into so many little pieces so basically I kind of watch all the videos and give you a report on what I saw I hope you guys have an amazing day have an amazing fall winter and yeah stay classy bye